keep these photos because these are um, my only images of my dad because I don't have any actual memories of him. My family is from Vietnam. We're part of the boat people that came here in the 70s and 80s. Thousands of Two million refugees, refugees from Southeast Asia. Many don't make it this far. They're attacked by pirates, drown, or starve to death. My mom was These nine months pregnant with me. So there was a shipwreck, and my father drowned. My mother was 29, so I, th I think about that. And I think about her starting a new life. And I, I know that um, newer community members and refugees and immigrants are coming here now. It's so, it's so important for an organization like ERCO or Asian Family Center or Africa House because we've been there already. We know what it's like. We know what it's like to come to a new country still dealing with their own trauma, still dealing with the grief of leaving your own country and not knowing the language and culture. Just remember this. Many of us come to America with nothing. We may lose our home, we lost our land, but the one critical piece that we have in us, that, that give us the courage to continue living, is our hope. And so those hopes are so deeply rooted with our children. Asian Family Center started in 1994. Truly way back then, the gang phenomenon is one of the issues that our community has been facing. The Asian Pacific Islander community was saying, hold on, this is too much. Asian Family Center has to be created to really look beyond the economic needs. You know, really what are the you know, social and political struggles that our community have gone through. And so that's why today, when we saw that you know, our young children are beginning to graduate from high school. Our children are beginning to graduate from college. Our young people that who become new business owners or doctors and lawyers. And that is our hopes and dreams. There's no question. There'll be our new leaderships. There'll be our new guiding light. And there'll be our new hope for tomorrow. And I have continued to remind myself and uh, reflect back on the day I was born, which is the day after my father died, and what is the legacy that he left behind. And the work that I'm doing is part of his legacy.